Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Tattooed Mama. All the babies right now are sleeping, so I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you my favorite items that help me to get the babies to sleep. My first ever viral video on TikTok was one where I was putting the baby to sleep in under a minute. But I'm not special and I didn't do anything special, but I want to share with you the items that I use. Okay, so the first item is a baby wrap. And I'm not talking about a baby carrier, I'm talking about a baby carrier wrap. One where the baby can be snuggled close to your body and be able to hear your heart. Because for that entire nine months, the most familiar sound to him was mommy's heart. That's going to be the number one comfort item for them. I'm able to get a lot of things done just by wearing the baby in my wrap and then once I know that they have gotten into that third REM cycle, I'm able to lay them down pretty easily. There are times though where I am doing things where I cannot hold him in my wrap. If you're a working mom, you're not going to be able to use the wrap all the time. I do have other things for that, but my number one recommendation is absolutely a baby wrap carrier. This one is one that I made uh, and I will link right here in the cards the video on how to do that. It's so easy you would not believe it. I have about five carriers that I have made myself and one that I, no I have three that I've purchased but one wrap that I've purchased and I'm I'm not being biased here honestly the one that I made is my favorite because the material is a lot stretchier so it doesn't pull as much and it's not as tight it's still snug but it doesn't feel like I'm not able to move especially because the ones at the store have the sewn edges on them which make it a lot less stretchy and with knit fabrics you don't need that hem anyway because uh, knit fabrics don't fray as easily. I've had this one for three years now and it has not come undone. Second item are muslin swaddle blankets. Now not all swaddle blankets are created equally like this one here. It is still scratchy even after it's gone in the wash I would say about at least 20 times now wash and dryer and it still just isn't as soft as as this bamboo muslin swaddle blanket. They're both really big too. So it's able to grow with your baby because after they get about two months old they do start growing out of the swaddle blankets that you get from the hospital or the regular size swaddle blankets that you buy at the store. So you want a large swaddle blanket so that you're able to really wrap up that baby nice and snug. Because again, going back to when baby was in mom's womb, they're wrapped up and they're really tight in your stomach. So you want to mimic what was happening during those nine months as much as possible in order to get that baby to feel the most secure. This one is just the right amount of big, stretchy, soft, and silky and all of the items will be linked in the description box below Amazon's basic swaddle blankets those are also a really good option I have a couple of those they're just in the in the wash right now okay so next are pacifiers and the only pacifiers I use now are the Avent ones but again just like the muslin swaddle blankets not there's a hair in there not all pacifiers are created the same even from the same company the different colors are even softer you want to get the ones that are for zero to three months. So I have two examples here of some good pacifiers and then four examples of some pacifiers that are not going to work for your newborn baby. They want a soft uh, nipple, especially if your baby is nursing. You want to get the ones that are zero to three months. Now these heart ones, they make in zero to three months and they're the exact same colors. Um, but these right here are actually for six months plus and I didn't even realize that till today when I bought these two new ones. Now you might be able to find the yellow ones. I have not been able to find them since 2018 but I swear they were even softer than these two here because my daughter when she was a baby that the yellow one was her favorite pacifier and I know she didn't know her colors because she was a newborn. And even this little baby, I had one of the yellow pacifiers left over and the yellow one was his favorite also. So these two colors are the softest variations for the brand, which means if you are a nursing mom, you're not going to suffer from sore or tender, you know, nips. Or the less likely chance you're going to suffer from that. 
and your baby is more likely to accept this binky if it is the softer one. A lot of people say, I've tried giving my baby a pacifier, but he just won't take it. It's probably because you have a nipple that isn't tender enough. So this lighter color here, it is this one is vanilla scented. This one I've only been able to find on Amazon. These specific ones will be linked. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box. These pink ones, they are softer than like this blue one, but it's, they're still too hard. Also, there seems to be a lot of hate around babies with pacifiers. I'm a nurse mom and I'm here to tell you, I love them. Give your baby a pacifier and here's why. For one, Babies have a natural desire to suckle. I gotta get things done, so I'm gonna boop, plop that right in his mouth. And number two, which is the most important reason why pacifiers are great is because they have shown to reduce the risk of SIDS by 90%. And I will leave that link for you down in the description box so you can read all about that yourself as well. Now, if you are a nursing mom, you wanna stay away from binkies as much as possible for at least the first four weeks. I didn't know that until I had my last baby and a nurse told me that. She said, just trust me, your milk supply is going to boost if you just let yourself be the pacifier for the first four weeks. To be honest, I still gave my newborn the pacifier, but I did it minimally. Moving on, Frida Snot Sucker. I can imagine the queasy look on your face right now as I said this name, Frida Snot Sucker. That's exactly what it does. It sucks out the snot. And to make it even more gross, you're the one that's doing the sucking. But don't worry, because it has a little cap right here. So this little spongy thing here is going to make sure that the snot does not get anywhere in your mouth. Th this is absolutely useful for when your baby has a runny nose because there's nothing worse than watching your baby struggle to feed because they can't breathe. So this right here, you just do a quick you'll be able to see the tremendous difference in their attitude and their sleep behavior for that day. Fifth is a heavy blanket. Forrest is currently using the one we usually use for him. I like to use crocheted blankets because they uh, are heavier since they're knitted and weaved together. No, they're not knitted, they're crocheted together. And it creates a nice heavy blanket that's heavy enough to make him feel secure, but not heavy enough to where it's really too much weight on the baby. If you don't have a grandma that can make you one, I will leave a link to a really awesome shop that makes them, again, not biased here, it is my cousin but she makes beautiful beautiful designs but if you don't want to go that route there is this one that I use from Amazon and this organic cotton knitted blanket is the one that baby Forrest uses when his crocheted blanket is dirty a uh, next item is the Brytax convertible car seat now I'm not going to lug that one out of my car but that one is really cushiony and comfortable but you are not sacrificing the safety it is the top of the line in safety I know that most people like the infant carriers. We used to use those, but we stopped using them after our second baby because we found out um, that there were really high infant fatality rates from using those car seats because parents were leaving them in the car seat when they would pull them from the car into the house because baby's sleeping, you don't want to wake them up. And that's exactly what we would use those car seats for as well. That was the whole point of them is being able to lug the baby in and out of the car without having to wake him from nap time. But that is absolutely a huge no-no. If you didn't know that, no judgment. I didn't know that either. But that's when we opted to go to just the Brytax convertible car seat instead. And it works from preemies all the way up to eight years old. Now, so that car seat has enough padding so that baby is comfortable and can sleep pleasantly when you're in those car rides. So number seven is this automatic the breast pump. So the way it works is you squeeze it, place it on, and then that suction cup right there is going to start pulling. I can't, so there you go. It's going to begin pulling any milk that you have and it doesn't come off, but it will start to release the suction as it's pulling the milk. Now this has been able to also boost my milk supply. There is an option to uh, get the one that comes with the stopper, which is definitely worth the couple extra bucks because there's nothing worse than spilled milk. Plop that on and the milk does not leak out of that. So number eight is baby bibs. I'm not gonna show you what baby bibs look like because we all know what they look like. 
The reason though that I'm even mentioning it is because you have been able to put that baby to sleep, you burped him and like, oh my goodness, now he spit up a little bit and it got onto his clothes. Now you're going to have to do a full change and it is going to wake that baby up. A simple bib is the hack. Uh, next are some high contrasting baby toys. These are the current ones we're using, but any black and white patterns with red is going to work great. Babies love black, white, and red. This one has orange and he loves it just the same. And it also makes noise. This is really great for stimulating the baby's brain, which will ultimately make him tired and want to go to sleep. So just like people with office jobs are actually working harder because their brain is just moving all day long. So they end up being more tired at the end of the day. Same kind of concept. You are stimulating that baby's mind, uh, hence making him more tired. And then last on the list is so simple, but it is baby sleepers that are zip ups because that's another thing, the less time that you are spending changing the baby then the less time that you have to bother waking them up. In the winter time, I really love these fleece zip up onesies or sleepers. In the summertime, I use these thin zip up sleepers and that saves from bothering the baby too much to where he's fully awake because you know, if in the middle of the night you need to change him, they are gonna wake up slightly, but you can make it to where they're not going to fully wake up. Anyway, that is it. All the items I mentioned in this video are linked in the description box below. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and that like because it really helps me out. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.